Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is George Mutafis, and I'm a world history teacher at Union County Vocational Technical Schools in Scotch Plains, New Jersey. And I can tell you this much. Waking up every morning is an ease when I have students like the ones that I have. Our students at, at UCBTS, ladies and gentlemen, are future leaders through and through. They are self-sufficient, they are self-motivated, they are students that are ready to do whatever it takes to be successful. And it really is awe-inspiring to see, walking through our hallways, how students are making machines from scratch. It's amazing to see how students are working on in the medical field, how students are looking through records, analyzing records, seeing what they need to do when they get into medical school. It's also amazing to see students at this young of an age preparing for mock trials in our pre-law program. It's also incredible to see how we have students working with exercise physiology and creating workout programs for students of special needs. I get to you this much, waking every morning up, waking up every morning to go to school is easy when I work on a campus like I do. And you have to ask yourself, where did this come from? I can tell you one thing, when we look at the student body and where our students come from, it's very evident that one thing occurred when these young scholars were much younger. And that is that their parents made a conscious effort to connect the home to school, which is what I'm here to tell you about today. I'm here to tell you how you can successfully create that connection between the home and school that above all else will truly help your student excel in whatever field they go into. Now, you might want to ask yourself, what exactly does that mean? What exactly does it mean to connect home to school? Well, first and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, what connecting home to school is this. It's basically first and foremost creating that desire, that passion to want to learn, to want to be educated, to want to know more about the world. Ladies and gentlemen, it is creating that culture that in essence brings and closes the gap between school and home. It is that bridge, ladies and gentlemen, that's crossed that allows a student to understand that education just doesn't happen at home. No, instead education happens everywhere, every day. And in this fashion, this is how, ladies and gentlemen, we create self-motivated and self-sufficient students. Now, in addition, the most important thing you have to understand when you're trying to create this bridge, when you're trying to gap home and school, is to understand the roles of everyone that's involved. The role of the teacher as being the educator, the one that's showing the students how and what to learn. The role of the parent in being a support to show their, to show their children that, hey, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. I'm ready to do whatever it takes for you to be successful. You let me know what you need and I will help you. I will reach out to that teacher. We will form a team because ladies and gentlemen, I can't tell you how encouraging that is for students to know when home and school is connected, when they know that they have multiple adults, not just their parents, not just their teachers, supporting them and being on their side. That's really inspiring ladies and gentlemen, and it really helps our students push to the next level. Now, in addition, when we look at creating that bond between home and school, what we also have to ask ourselves is this, Whenever you're forming any team, there has to be chemistry. There has to be simpatico. And ladies and gentlemen, that is what we have to do as educators and you as parents. What you have to be able to do, ladies and gentlemen, is you have to be able to close that gap. You have to show your children that you are truly there for them. So now we have to ask ourselves this question. Why bridge the gap? Why connect home to school? Well, first and foremost, Yale University did a study that showed that when there is a connection between home and school, students tend to perform over 70% better than students whose parents really didn't reach out and can make that connection. Now, we, we have to pause for a second and ask ourselves, what causes this? Well, it's quite simple. First and foremost, you have to understand that the child feels supported. They know that they have a team behind them. They know that they have multiple adults behind their back ready to do whatever it takes to help them succeed. In addition, and I see this even in my high schoolers, ladies and gentlemen, I can't tell you how much your students, your children, want to make you proud. And once they see that you've made that effort to reach out, to be part of the team, to bridge the cap, to connect home and school, they're ready to do whatever it takes to make you proud. And lastly, when we look at why it's important to form this bond between home and school, it also boils down to one thing. It really boils down to you and your values. 
Because truthfully, if you value education, they're gonna value education. It's as simple as that. When you show that education is important to your child, they're gonna take that passion that you have and bring it with them to school. And when you come back home, that reinforces it. And lastly, the other reason why that you have to connect home and school is very simple. And that is that perfect practice makes perfect. If they're consistently, repetitively doing the same things over and over again, if they are being challenged at home and at school, if they're constantly thinking, this creates the foundation of having that self-sufficient learner, that learner that's constantly curious, that learner that constantly wants to learn more. And in addition, when you connect home and school, what you're also doing is that you're also showing your child that education happens everywhere. And education can happen in multiple supplemental forms. It can happen in taking your child to the library. It's having your child find supplemental work. It's having your child work on skills that they can use in school, at home as well. So as I said, perfect practice makes perfect. And that's why it's so important for you as parents to make a conscious effort to try and bridge that gap between home and school.